hi everybody and thank you for watching so here is my cvs haul for this week so i have about four transactions to show you i used uh, two of my cards i do need to go back uh, tomorrow i'm going to go to a different store and uh, use my other card there because this store was very limited on inventory so hopefully that other store does have stock okay so on one card i got a 10 of a 70 the other one i got a 10 of a 60 so uh, it depends on what you spend that 10 of a 60 it's interesting because last week i had that 20 off of 100 so it changes up every now and then with that card i'm not sure why and then um, i did have two other transactions that i used some threshold crts which was the tresemme and the chic so i'll go over those as well okay so this is the second week of the deals so all the deals that i did last week are still valid this week so if you have those digital coupons the ones that i use like the dove like the irish spring the crest you can do all of those this week if you want to they did not reset for me but that's okay because we got some really good deals this week that I want to go over. And the Carefree worked out better this week compared to last week because we do have a 5 of a 2 digital, which is amazing. So these work out to be actually cheaper than the smaller packets. So I'll go over those as well. I did have a hiccup with this cover girl. I didn't realize that it was priced higher than what the tag was so i may return that because honestly i don't need mascara considering how much i paid for it but in the end everything still worked out i was able to pick up a, a bunch of tide so that was really good i'm running pretty low on the tide pods i did have to ask her if she had any in the back and she did which was really good i couldn't find these last week so i ended up doing a few other deals last week on the spend 30 get 10 so if you want to look at another scenario you can check that out check out my video last week because those deals are still valid okay so let's go over the first transaction that i have here which is the 10 off of 70 so the first thing i did is the spend 30 get 10 so i picked up one of the tide liquids they are 13.49 and then one of the tide pods that are 13.49 we do have three dollar digitals on each of those which is amazing and then basically to get to the 30 dollar mark i just threw in this febreze car clip that is a $4.99. They are buy one, get one 50% off, but the store only had one, which is fine. I just needed a little bit extra to get over the $30 mark. Uh, there is an amazing deal on the refills if you have the BOGO coupon. I did not get those inserts in my area and I didn't buy them from a coupon fairy this week. I just went into the store looking at deals on digital coupons and a few of the insert coupons that I had in my binder from a couple of weeks ago. And so I was able to still do some pretty good deals here. Okay, so like I said, I got the two tied and I got the Febreze. So all of that did come to $31.97. Taking those $6 worth of digital coupons, I paid $25.97, got the $10 back at a cost of $15.97, which is pretty good okay next i did the nivea so this would have worked out better if they had the two small ones they did not i kind of did this deal last week as well but still happy to pick this up because these are our favorite lotion so nivea is on promotion for buy two and get uh buy two and get seven so my my math here is wrong but yeah buy two and get seven you can get lotion you can get shave you can get body wash uh, you can get a variety but remember it's a limit of one so last week if you watched my video i picked up the lotion and the shave realizing that it's a limit of one so i did return those shave products i got about five dollars in a um, extra bucks and then about four something in a refund so i did get some of my money back which was really good okay so with the nivea it is buy two and get seven so this one here is 9.99 the other one is 6.79 so all of that comes to 16.78 i had two two dollar coupons uh, from a previous insert so i paid 12.78 i actually got seven dollars back so it's a cost of 5.78 so this one is a bit wrong but yeah 5.78 for those two is still a really good deal okay next i picked up the carefree so i did this last week as well but i got the smaller ones these larger ones are a much better deal. 
if you get the two small ones um, it works out to be a cost of 49 cents each these ones the five over two digital is attaching so it works out amazing so carefree they're on promotion buy one get 50 percent off buy two and get two dollars back so this one is 4.79 the other one rings up at 239 so two of them does come to seven dollars and 18 cents we do have a five over two digital so you'll pay 218 get the two back it's a cost of 18 cents so nine cents each for these is amazing if you don't have these and you have the smaller packets the ones that i got from last week they're like 49 nine cents each which is still not bad okay and then the last deal that i did here is the cover girl so i thought these ones were like six six ninety nine each that's what the tag said but they actually rang up for eight forty nine so i might return these uh because yeah i don't want to pay for makeup but cover girl they're on promotion for buy two and get five i picked up these two mascaras they work out to be $6.49 each. Two of them does come to $16.98. Also with this one, I had a $2 printable coupon from coupons.com. For some reason, the $2 digital was not working. I gave her another $2 uh, printable. And then it was going to kick out the $4 CRT. So everything was messed up here. But on this one, it did work out. I did this one at uh, the register. This one at self-checkout. And it worked better at self-checkout. So... With this one, I had a $2 coupon and then a $4 CRT. There should have been an extra $2 digital, but it didn't come off. So I paid $10.98. I got the $5 back. It's a cost of $5.98. So not what I expected. One, the price was more higher than I expected. And then two, my coupon did not come off. So I might just return one of them, honestly, and then see if I can recoup some of the money because to pay $3 each for those is something that I would not do. Okay, so that is my first transaction there. So I have the Spend 30, Get 10. I have the Nivea. I have the Carefree. And then I have the CoverGirl. So let me show you my receipt on this one. So there you can see there is the Tide. That is the liquid. There is the pods. There are the two Carefree liners. Buy one, get 50% off. There is the Febreze. There is one Nivea, two CoverGirl, and then one Nivea. Okay, so for everything, it came to $72.91. So it was about $3 more than what I expected because of these items here okay coupons i have is two dollar coupon for the nivea another two dollar for the nivea two dollars for the cover girl there's my five dollar off two for the carefree three dollars for the pods three dollars for the liquid there's my 10 over 70 and then my four dollar crt for cover girl so i rolled 28 dollars in extra bucks that's all i had on this card and i had 13.50 out of pocket so altogether 41.50 I got $24 back in extra bucks. I do have the $5 here for the cover girl. I have $2 here for the carefree. I have $10 here for the spend 30 get 10, as well as $7 here for the Nivea. So for everything, it worked out to be cost of $17.50. So I think it's about three or $4 more than I expected. But I'm like I said, I'm gonna probably return one of these or both of them and then see if I can recoup some of my money. Okay, so that is my first transaction there. My spend uh, 70, get $10 off. Okay, next transaction, spend 60, get $10 off. So I did the spend 30, get 10 again, but there was only one for Brie. So I ended up picking up the Downy Softener. It is $5.49. So a little bit more expensive, but that's okay. I'm going to use it anyway. So same, similar breakdown. I'm just going to show you what I have here. So I've got the two tied, and then I have the Downy. It comes to $32.47 using two of those three dollar digital coupons for the tide i paid 26 or 47 got the ten dollars back it's a cost of 1647 there is another one of these that is this is a five ounce there is a seven ounce i think that is 6.99 it is a two dollar digital i picked that one up last week so if you could pick up that one this may work out a little bit cheaper or kind of will cancel out because it's one dollar more and then you have the digital coupon but still a really good deal on this one paying 1647 after the extra bucks which is really good so i have that one there i did a repeat deal on the carefree so i ended up just picking up the thongs variety instead of the regular same breakdown if you didn't see that this is the breakdown here so it costs of nine cents each after the digital coupon and the extra bucks really good easy friendly deal for that one there if you're a newbie you can pick those up digital coupon getting the extra bucks amazing deal there okay next i did the um i did the cover girl so this one did work out for me so these ones here are 5.99 each 
two of them like i said buy two and get five and then my two dollar digital came worked and then my two dollar uh, printable worked as well so i was able to make this a money maker so i'm going to show you my breakdown so 5.99 each two of them does come to 11.98 using a two dollar digital and a two dollar printable we have insert coupons but i didn't get them this week so i just used the printable and the digital and then i do have the four dollar crt so i paid 3.98 i got the five dollars back it's a one dollar and two cent money maker which is really good um, my store was completely out of the eyebrow pencils so that's why I kind of settled for these. And then I picked up these, like I said, not knowing that they were more expensive than the tag. Okay, so I have that one there. And then uh, basically to finish off to get to the $60 mark, I did find this Olay. It's on clearance for $9.87. And then we do have a $5 digital coupon. So it's a cost of $4.87, which I think is a really good deal considering it's normally like 40 bucks. So something different for me to try out. Uh, there was another Olay, a smaller one that was $12. And the $5 digital applied to that one, but that's a bit too expensive for me. I'd rather pick up this one here. Okay, so that is my second transaction. So like I said, the Spend 30, Get 10, the Carefree, the Olay, and the CoverGirl. Let me show you my receipt. So here you can got the Olay for a nine eighty seven, the two type pods, or the one type liquid, one type pod, the Downy, the Carefree, and the CoverGirl. So everything came to uh, $61.50. So the only coupon I used was a $2 for the CoverGirl. That's a printable. This is my 5 over 2 Carefree, $5 off Olay, $3 off the Tide, $3 off the Tide, $2 off the CoverGirl, my 10 over 60, and then my $4. So I rolled $27.06 in extra bucks. That five oh six is from me returning the Nivea Shave last week. And then I paid $44 out of pocket. So altogether is $27.50. I got 17 back, so I do have the $5 here for the cover girl, $2 here for the carefree, and then $10 for the spend 30 get 10. So everything there worked out to be a cost of $10.50, which I think is still a really good deal for what I got. $10, I got an LA, I got some Tide. Really happy about all those deals there. Okay, so those are my two big transactions, and so these here i picked up some smaller ones so if you have these crts this works out to be really good so i did pick up the chic chic they are on promotion uh regular price but they're on promotion for spend 25 get 10 dollars off so i picked up one of the women's for a 12.79 and then one of the men's for 11.99 these two together came to 20 uh, $24.78. So within the 98% rule of 25, so I can get my extra bucks. This is all digital. I had a $4 digital for the women's, $4 for the men's, and I did have a 5 of a 25 CRT. So basically after all that, let me show you my receipt here. So uh, let me focus. Okay, so there's my two digital coupons and my CRT. I rolled ten dollars and had a bench of two percent. But basically, after the coupons, it comes to I think it was eleven dollars and seventy eight cents. Getting the ten dollars back, it's a cost of a dollar seventy eight because I had some of those two percent. It worked out to be a cost of eighty three cents. So there's my ten dollars there. So yeah, eighty three cents for those two after using some of my two percent. But like I said, a dollar seventy eight not using those two percent uh, for two of those. I think that's a pretty good deal. And then the last two I did is the Tresemme. So with the Tresemme, they are buy two and get five. It's the same promotion as the Dove that I did last week. So you can do the Dove this week if you wanted to. Um, I didn't have any more printable coupons to stack with the digital. The, the digital did reset, but I can do it again on this card uh, later on if I can get some printables. But the Tresemme, like I said, is buy two and get five. So they are $7.59 each. Two of them does come to $15.18. I had a 5 of a 2 digital as well as a 3 of a 15 CRT. So after that, it comes to $7.18. Getting the $5 back, it's a cost of $2.18. If you can get some printable coupons, it should double dip with the digital. But I didn't have any on me. Uh, but if you can, you can... It, will, it could, should work out to be a money maker. So I'm just going to show you my receipt here. So like I said, it was 1518. I just had the five of a two digital and the three of a 15 CRT. I rolled seven 
uh, got the five dollars back it's a cost of 218 for those so really good deal there on the tresemme and so yeah something different i just wanted to show you a few other deals that you can do if you don't have those uh large threshold coupons okay so for everything here on the table it would have cost me 174.37 after all coupons it worked out to be a cost of 87.01 between all of the transactions, I got $56 back in extra bucks. So everything worked out to be a cost of $31.01, which I think is an amazing deal for all the products that I got. I did get a bunch of uh, laundry products. I got some feminine care. I got this really expensive Olay. Like I said, that would have cost almost $40 on its own if it's not on clearance and after the digital coupons. And so yeah, that's basically it. That is my CVS haul for this week. If you have any questions, do leave a comment, I'll respond. But also, like I said, check out my video last week. All those deals are still valid. And then come next Sunday, we will have some new deals at CVS. And so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, happy shopping and thank you for watching. Yeah, 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 yeah.